Hi, my name's Ella. I'm a certified personal trainer as well as a performance enhancement specialist. And I wanna make sure that you guys are staying safe, getting in your cardio and doing a proper warm up. So I'd like to go over my very favorite warm up of all time for pretty much everything. You can do this standing, seated, or even lying in bed. I'm gonna demonstrate one foot standing and one foot seated. Find a chair that you find comfortable. You're gonna rotate one foot as best you can, one direction, 20 times. Once you get to 20, you're gonna change direction and go 20 times the other direction. If you're in an advanced fitness level, you can do this standing on one leg. Let's see if you can count. 20 times one direction, 20 times the other direction. All right, so now we're gonna switch feet. If you wanted to make this a balancing exercise, you could use a wall. You want to think about your posture, head in line with your spine. Ooh, 20 times one direction, 20 the other direction. We keep going. It should feel like burning. All right, once you've done both of those, you can feel that uh, your feet, your shins, everything's nice and warm. This will be a perfect way to start your walk, uh, to prevent, or a run to prevent shin splints. All right, let's go over another warm up that you can do fairly easily. I call it a heel to toe. I'm sure it's been called other things. <laughs> so you wanna roll up on your tippy toes and you want to roll all the way back on your heels heel to toe you want to try to do this without your knees being locked shaking is good you can also do this from a seated position so your heels to toe heel to toe. All right, you guys. How about a little bit of a shoulder warm up? This is one of my favorites. I call it high and by uh, because you have your hand up and you wave high and by. Now you know your body better than I do. So if this doesn't work for you, you're not gonna do this exercise. I put my hand here on my shoulder so I can feel the Rice Krispie crunchies. It also kind of reminds me to keep my neck long. Uh, say about 20-ish. All right, your spine is an equal sign. What you do to one side, you must do to the other side. So again, you want your elbow to be nice and high and you're gonna go high and by. If you are really advanced, you can do this while holding a, a very small weight. You could also do this while balancing, which just makes everything much more exciting. You're waving high and by, keeping your neck long, your knees soft. All right, isn't that delicious right there? Okay. So now that you are all ready for your walk or run, 
I like to give you some pointers on uh, how to walk. I know that sounds silly, but uh, I've noticed in the past 10 to 15 years, us humans have a tendency to turn our fingers all the way the wrong way. So what I'd like for you to just try is to point your thumbs out, opening up your chest and allowing yourself to be open to receive all that is good in the world, but also it is uh, much more healthy on your shoulders. So uh, it does not feel natural at first, but if you can try to get in the hang of pointing your thumbs out, all right. So let's go through my very favorite wall exercise. You could do anywhere you have a door. I may need to make a tiny adjustment. It's a lot more work when I'm working from home, people. You don't even know, there's children. <sighs> All right, so anywhere you can find a wall I like the word. You're going to let your head be in line with the door. Be in line with the door. Your head's on the door. Your back is on the door. Your bum on the door. Your feet away. So I'm using a door. You can use a wall. I usually call these wall slides. I guess today they're door slides. Uh, your feet are away from the wall or door. Your head is in in line with your spine as best as you can. And ooh, I have not done these in a while, guys. So what you want to do here is get the thumbs up and then push them up. Now listen, your hands don't have to touch the wall or the door. Ooh, I used to do these all the time and I was very impressive. But it's been about a month and I can tell the difference. So. All we're doing here is sliding your arms up and down the wall. Now you may say, Ella, my hands don't touch the wall. They're here. They're here. I say, okay, that's fine. That's your life. I don't want to hear about it. Just do what you can. Now, if you're a lucky, fortunate person that happens to have maybe a foam roller, foam roller, uh, a long one would be better. You could use a thick pool noodle, uh, but you could take the foam roller Put it behind along your spine a bit. All right, maybe your hips aren't going to touch the wall, right? So the foam roller there, just to let you feel like you can kind of get back and open up. And you may feel some, you know, some tightness, some kinks. What you want to think about is breathing. You want to breathe in and then breathe out. And you have to do that every day. Breathe in and then breathe out. This is fantastic for functional shoulders. I call those wall slides, door slides. Um, they've also been called wall angels, I guess. But to me, the angels are more like this. Uh, which we will do on the floor with a foam roller uh, on one of our next visits. So um, those are some great ways to improve your posture uh, and reduce any pain and prevent some injuries. So I need you guys to please be safe. Thank you for spending your time with me right now. I look forward to seeing you again real soon, okay? Bye.